Hello children and welcome to your English class. In the previous class, you had learnt about consonants and vowels. Now, today what you are supposed to do is, please take out your English classwork notebook. Okay, take out the second page, leave one page, the second page, put today's date. See, Ivy ma'am also has put today's date, right? Now you put page number 01, page number 1. If you have this column in your page, you write page number 1, otherwise you leave it, okay? So first, what is very important is put today's date. Now above the margin, you will write CW classwork. Children, Please write in very, very beautiful handwriting, okay? And follow the cursive handwriting. Follow the way Ivy Ma'am has written, okay? Okay. Now, in the first line, you will write grammar. G should be written in capital letter. The rest in small. G R A M M A R. Grammar. In the next line, you will write consonants and vowels. Okay? C capital O N S O N A N T S. Con so nents. Come on, break it now. Con C O N con so S O so N A N T S ants. Okay? So con so and N ands consonants. Okay. Now A N D and vowels. V O W E L S. Vowels. Okay. Now next line you will write with start with a capital letter. Okay. Capital T. T H E R E. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Okay. So, first line you will write. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Full stop. Don't forget to put the full stop. Then you will continue. They are further divided into. They are further divided into. Ivy ma'am told you, no, that 26 letters in the English alphabet, 5 vowels and 21 consonants. So, they are divided into 5 vowels, A, E, I, O, U and 21 consonants. In the bracket, you will write remaining letters. Okay, after you finish this, then you write in the next line, note. Now this is something very important children. So pay attention to what Ivy Ma'am is saying, okay? Note. Now, what is the note? This is something special which you have to keep in mind. Okay, what is this? The letter Y can be regarded as both a vowel and a consonant, alright? Now, the letter Y can be regarded as both a vowel and a consonant. Now, what does this mean? Y, like you have five vowels, alright? A, E, I, O, U. Y also can be regarded as a sixth vowel, okay? Sometimes it works as a vowel and sometimes it works as a consonant. Is this a naughty Y? Naughty Y? No, no, it is a a special Y, a special vowel. It is called as a special vowel. All right. Now, next line you will write, children, Y as a consonant. And on the right hand side, you will write Y as a vowel. Okay. And take a ruler, a scale, and draw a line in between. Okay. Now you see Y as a consonant. Okay. As a consonant means. Y should sound like Y. Okay. So, Y-E-S. Yes. Y. Y is sounding as 
Y. Which sound? Y sound. Next word Y A K Yak. Again Y is sounding as Y. The third word you see Y O U U. Again Y is sounding as Y. But you see on the right hand side Y as a vowel. There C R Y. Cry. Y is sounding as I and I is a vowel. So this is sounding like a vowel. Now you see the next word T R Y. Try again. Y is sounding like I. Okay. So again, this is a this sounds like a vowel. All right. Then you see the third word Jim. G Y M Jim and Y is sounding like e, im. So therefore, sometimes Y sounds as consonants, and sometimes Y sounds as a vowel, and therefore it is a special vowel. Okay, although it is a consonant, but is it is also a special vowel. Okay, so now you have learned something new that there are five vowels, but there is one special vowel also, and that is Y. Okay, now children, in the next line you will write Y is often considered as a consonant when it is at the beginning of a word. When the Y comes at the beginning of the word, can you see Y as a consonant when it comes at the beginning of the word? It sounds as a consonant, or it is considered as a consonant. But when it comes at the middle or end of a word, as you see in Y as a vowel, you see these words as cry, try, and Jim. It's coming at the at the middle or at the end of a word, and therefore it sounds like a. Vowel. So most of the time you will find that the consonant sound comes when it starts. The word starts with Y, and when the Y is at the middle or end of the word, we generally it is considered or we consider it as a vowel. All right. Very good. Now you. You know, you keep looking out for some more words with Y and try to identify whether the Y is a consonant or a vowel. All right. So if Y will sound as Y, it will be a consonant. And if Y will sound like a vowel, that means if it sounds like any of the vowel, E, I, and so on, then it is a Vowel. Then it becomes a vowel. All right. Okay. Now, in the next line, if you have space, you can continue or you can go to the next page. Now, again, you put the date and then you write this important point. Each of the vowel letter has more than one type of sound, known as long sound and short sound. Now, each of the vowel letter means. All the vowel letters A, E, I, O, U, they all have more than one type of sound. That is, more than one means two, three, and so on. All right. So it's known as long sound and short sound. Every vowel has a long sound and a short sound. Okay. This I will explain you later, children. Okay. But you should know this that every vowel has more than one type of Sound, and then you will leave one line, and next line you will write. Most consonant letters have only one sound, like B has only one sound, B. It doesn't have any other sound. Okay. Similarly, if you go and see the other letters also, most of the letters you will find, most of the consonant letters you will find that they have only one sound. Okay. So this is enough for today, children. Now tomorrow also we don't have the English class. So what you can do is you have two days in hand. You can complete this work. Okay, you can complete this in a very beautiful handwriting. You should look at this video and write it down, note it down in your English notebook. Okay, children. So complete your work 
and enjoy your wonderful vacation that you are go having at home i can say okay so stay at home stay healthy stay safe god bless bye bye children